Today is January 4th. Pastor is saying to us, it's from your heart. Our opening scripture comes from the book of Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23. Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Anything you want or could ever want won't come to you from heaven or from anywhere else but from your heart. Your heart is the origin of all things, including matter. That's what we read in our opening verse above. Remember, universal matter came from the heart of God. Everything was inside him before he spoke them into being. You are made in the image and likeness of God, meaning that you look like him and function like him. Therefore, everything you'll ever need in your life will come out of you, out of your heart. That business you want to start, the new structure you want to set up, that new facility you need, including the capital, they are all in your heart. Bring them forth from within you. The Bible says God has set, that means deposited, eternity in our hearts. He has made everything beautiful in its time. He has also set eternity in the human heart. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 11. Your heart has the potential for infinite capabilities and possibilities. You can bring forth anything from within your spirit. Think about it. If your heart can contain God, for he lives in your heart, you are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Then it means heaven and earth, life, success, victory and joy. All the good things you could ever imagine or desire are in your heart. The reverse is also true for the one who isn't born again. His heart is the habitation of evil, darkness, wickedness, failure, and death. Recall the words of the Lord Jesus in Matthew chapter 12, verse 35. A good man, of the good treasure of the heart, bringeth forth good things, and an evil man, out of the evil treasure bringeth forth evil things. Being born again, you are the good man that Jesus talked about. You are the one to produce whatever God wants in the earth. We permit and bring forth only the things that are consistent with his perfect will. Our hearts or spirits scrutinize everything and decide that only the will of the Lord will be done in our world and upon the earth. Romans chapter 12, verse 2. Hallelujah. Please say this confession with me. From within, I bring forth success, victory, health, prosperity, joy, and all the good things I desire. I walk in the glory of God today and in the full blessings of the gospel as I impact those in my world with the life and nature of Christ in me. In Jesus' name, amen. For further study, please read Matthew chapter 12, verse 34, Luke chapter 6, verse 45, and Romans chapter 12, verse 2. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read Matthew chapter 4 and Genesis chapters 9 to 11. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read Matthew chapter 2, verses 13 to 23, and Genesis chapter 4. If you've never received salvation, if you've never received Christ into your heart, if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about, this is your moment. Say these words. Say, O oh Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I believe He died to save me. I believe God raised him from the dead and he's alive today. I confess with my mouth, Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in him, I receive eternal life into my heart, into my spirit. 
Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God. 